Hello, so I'm going to show you how to create your own templates. For these, you can choose your wording and the font that you want then. This is it, basically. And a few of you have asked where I get my sheets from. This is the company you can find her on eBay and also Amazon. Okay, so, right. So you open up the Cricut Design Space. And then all you're going to do is click on your shapes and get a circle up. And then I'm going to unlock that. And I'm going to set that size to the size I want to fit 8 centimeter baubles. I have written it all down. So the size I need is 2.931, 2.931, up there. So that's the size of the circle I need. Then I'm going to do my square. This is going to be smaller. So this is 0 0.667 and the same. Okay. So then you want to fit this. So it's as if, I'd say approximately two lines, roughly in the middle there. There you go. And then I want to weld in the corner. I just clicked. So it all goes into one. My overall size, the height I need a little bit off is 3.319 and then it'll automatically do that that's the right size for mine okay and I'm going to put this as a print and I'm going to change the color so we can see the font there there's my template okay now to add what you want in it um, text so I'm just going to do okay and the font I think I use for this if I remember rightly was unicorn calligraphy I think it was yeah that's the right one okay so there's the because you just place it where you want it obviously make it a lot smaller like this so you can fit your photo in. Okay. Okay, so then text again. Now we use a oh text, sorry. Um then I used a different font for someone we it was uh Bradley Hand, I think. There, yeah, that's the one. Okay, so it was because someone we, there we go, and then obviously it's love, I don't want all that thing, love, and that again is unicorn, okay, I like to make that one a little bit bigger than the rest, oh I'm moving there. Sorry, I'd like to make this one a little bit bigger than the rest so it stands out, okay? Obviously, you just play around until you're happy with what you want. It's a bit awkward with one hand, to be fair. Um, and again, that's Bradley. Okay, so you get the gist of it. I'm not going to do it all, but I will show you what you need to do so it's all in okay so so just say we're just going to do that for now now what you want to do is make sure all your words over here look are set to print and also you need to weld your words okay and then it changes like that look watch now if i do this one again so I'll set it to print, watch the changing of the word. There we go, okay. So again, I'm gonna print like that and set it to weld. And then is in heaven now is left. Uh, print and then weld. 
So then all of them sets print. Now I'm going to attach and also oh wait there, let me put my image in. Okay, so upload. Um let me upload an image a sec. Upload an image. Okay, it's typical, right? Okay. So I'm going to choose a photo of my dad. Okay. So my file has been added. I set it to complex like this. There we go. Okay, then it's a save. And then obviously recently added insert images okay so to put your image onto your bauble i'm going to make it a lot smaller and change the size and i'm just going to go rough guide here okay so then i go my shapes i get circle and then i unlock this here so i can turn it to an oval kind of shape like that look and then i want to put this on his face like that. Obviously I'm going to chop a bit of his hair so this is make it a bit smaller. I'll do. Then I select all that there and then I go down to the bottom and click slice. Okay so then I remove the black bit, delete that, remove that, delete that and this is my image. I'm going to unlock that and make it a bit, should fit in actually. Okay, so there we go. Obviously, I haven't finished it off. Okay, so once all that's like that, I'm going to attach again and flatten. Okay, you need to make sure you flatten it. Then I'll click make it. And it should come up as a print cut. There you go. Obviously, then you continue. I'm not going to do it because I don't really have the time. Send it to printer, do your device. Make sure it's set as custom here, look. And then it is a foil you go on. So once that is then done, you should have this. And all you basically do is roll it up like so, but make sure it's quite small, but not too tight. You need to make it small enough to fit it in the hole so it opens up inside. And then you'll have your little tab at the top there, but you don't want to do it too tight because it'll keep the creases in it, if, if that makes sense. Okay, so I hope I've been helpful. And okay.